Hey everyone, Kevin Conkle here, and guys, got some exciting news. Something came in the mail today, and I can't believe it. And today we're going to review it. That's right. It's the Game Boy Player for the Nintendo GameCube. I waited so long for this, and I finally got it. My birdies are up there. Sorry about that. Nintendo. And I got the software to run it. So... That's it for looking in the crate. I'm gonna I'm getting a good start on my collection. So okay. Let's go ahead and look at it. This GameCube this Game Boy player plugs into the bottom of your GameCube, which is right to show you right now. See? Okay. Now the GameCube's upside down. We take this cover off for the high speed port. And this Plugs in, plugs in to the bottom of your GameCube, and these are loose screws to tighten it for better connection. There it's on, and this player will play. Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color. I don't have a Game Boy Color cartridge, so we don't have to worry. And right here is the software to run it. And the Game Boy Player doesn't need batteries or adapters because it runs on the GameCube Power. So that's a good thing. And all you do is just answer your Game Boy game. Like that. But you can't get it out. But you can't get it out, but guess what? There's a jack switch. See? I got my game. And this works for Game Boy games too. Because it's a Game Boy. And for this game, you don't need the jack switch because it's easy to get out. So let's go ahead and run this thing. So let's go ahead and get the startup disk going. And the GameCube up. Oh, and this came with another GameCube that's up there, but we're not going to review that for later. So let's go ahead and insert the startup disk. Turn it on. Let's see what we get. And you can control your Game Boy and Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color games with your GameCube controller. Whoa. There we go. It just starts up like a Game Boy Advance SP. There's nothing in the Game Boy. So, and there's options by pressing the Z button. Sorry, this is not focusing. Oh, there we go. We've got... We've got your controller selection. Right here is the screen size. Cool. Right here is your frame. This is neat. Look. Oops. Look. That's like the GameCube. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Right here we've got a little robot thing. I don't know. And. I think, in this one, it's like the Game Boy Advance SP, so, that's good. And to change your cartridge, oh, we got a timer. Screen filter, no. We're here to change your game pack, and yes, I want to do it. Please insert a game pack. Let's go ahead and insert the game pack. I'm going to review the Super Mario Land. For this Game Boy Play reveal. There we go. Ooh, guess what? I gotta I have to blow it out. Ooh, we got power on the GameCube again. Sorry about this, but yeah, we have to power it in. Okay, for some reason.
There it goes. So what do we get? Oh, white screen. That's cool. You know this game? And I died. Yeah, that's Mario Land. So let's go ahead and power off the GameCube. Take that out. And I believe that's it for the Game Boy Player review for the Nintendo GameCube. So I can't. I'm excited, and I, maybe I'm gonna. And this is why I wanted it so I can make walkthroughs for my Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy. So I guess that'll be it, and that's it.